Hey, Glenn, Carnal Eterno, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, you've been a good three-point shooter earlier in your career, but for whatever reason, last season kind of took a step back in that department. What do you think? What was there anything that contributed to that last season, and what can you do to get back on track? Yeah, um, I think last season was was a rough season for me. Um, playing time was up in the air. You know, uh, this being my sixth year, you know, I know how things can go, and um, you got to stay ready and be ready um, at all times. But uh, I think just um, the volume and opportunities was kind of low. Um, and I think that I got on the court um, towards playoffs. Uh, Blake got hurt and um, had to step up and make some plays. Um, but, you know, I've been a great three-point shooter, you know, um, my career going back from, since college. Um, so I think that uh, I'm very excited for this season, uh, being on this team where the reps will be there, um, open shots will be there, um, and it'll be on me to knock them down. So I'm very excited, uh, I think, for the first time in my career that, um, you know, I've had a team telling me, you know, we want you to take, you know, three, four a game plus, you know, and, and I think that uh, those are shots that we want to, um, that, that we want to definitely uh, take and implement. Fourth row, right hand side. Uh, Mason Bisada, Martinez Tribune. Glenn, uh, do you consider yourself a candidate for the starting small forward position, at least until Clay comes back? And do you think that, or do you consider yourself a small <laughs> forward? Does that position label even matter? Um, I think that. Uh, the versatility that I can provide to this team, um, the three, uh, two, three, four, um, uh, that's what I'm excited about because playing against the Warriors for, you know, five years now, um, tough to guard, you know, and it kind of positionless in a sense. Um, but I do think that I'm definitely a candidate for that spot, and that's what I'm competing for every day. Um, it's excited. You know, we hate, I hate to see guys go down, but uh, with Clay's injury, it'll open up a huge opportunity for me. And, you know, I've talked to him about it. And uh, he's excited for me as well, as well as uh, Zoe and um, a lot of other guys. So I think that it'll be a, it'll be a great opportunity. Third row back there, left hand side, Colin. Hey, going, Colin Ward, Henninger, CBSSports.com. Okay. Um, coming into this team uh, that's had so much success, and now you find yourself in the position to be able to earn playing time. What do you think specifically you're going to have to do to impress the coaching staff? I think, uh, I think you know, the way that I play the game, uh, coming from Michigan, um, knowing how the league works and um, the way that the game is played now, um, to be able to play both sides of the court I think is important, uh, especially with Clay being out. Um, so I'm very excited to have the opportunity to step up and uh, guard some elite level guys. Um, got Draymond behind me and um, the way that he talks, you know, uh, knowing him for a couple years now, um, I'm excited to, to kind of strap up on a defensive end. but. Um, at the same time, you know, proving that, you know, I, I move without the ball. Um, I think that, you know, uh, if you had to just kind of describe a little bit of my game for a lot of people who don't know me, um, Andre Iguodala, in a sense, you know, um, that I'm able to kind of slash and, and knock down shots um, and uh, just play with that intensity and that excitement uh, that he had. And, you know, I talked to Andre as well coming here, um, as well as uh, watching a lot of video and film on him and, and what he was able to do here when um, and his time here. So I'm um, definitely excited to to kind of show off that part of my game. i um, always been a back cutter slasher, you know, and just naturally and, and having Draymond to kind of um, direct some of that off a of pick and roll and obviously stuff. Um, I'm excited to to be able to play with those guys and play the right way. You know, I think that um, it's, it, the game is simple. It's easy when um, you play the right way and it'll be on me to knock down open open shots. Far back left hand side. Glenn, Kevin uh, Radich, KCBS Radio. Uh, you mentioned studying some video of Andre. Have you looked at video of this offense, and have you envisioned how your particular game would work with these guys that are still here? Yeah, I have. Um, you know, I've watched uh, a lot of tons of film. You know, um, making my decision in free agency and kind of coming here. Um, that's what I was. That's what I was doing as well, and obviously playing against them for years. Um, and, and knowing Coach Kerr, um, the way that he um, likes to implement guys into their strengths. And um, like I said, I've always been a guy who can um, read and make other plays, who can cut. You know, I don't need the ball in my hands necessarily all the time. Um, and playing off of great shooters and, and uh, great players um, in this system, I think that it'll be, it'll be very impactful for me. And I'm excited because uh, I think for the first time in my career, um, like I said earlier, it's, It'll be a, the biggest opportunity that I've had, um, but as well as uh, I really see myself fit um, here with this system, with the team, um, and, and the open runs that we've had so far playing with Steph and uh, D'Angelo. You know, I run the floor, um, just trying to make the game a lot simpler than what it needs to be, and, and I'm excited for it. 
front row, right hand side, Connor. Uh, Connor Laterno, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Glenn, to this point in your career, from an individual standpoint, the high point has probably been winning the dunk contest. Mm -hmm. How important it, is it for you to look back on your career and not just be known as a guy who won a dunk contest, but to be known for a lot more than that? Yeah, um, I think that's that's important to me. Uh, you know, winning dunk contest that was always a dream of mine since I was a kid. Um, and kind of going there and, and doing that uh, two years ago um, was was definitely fun. It's been uh, one of the highlights of my career. And um, but I think that now I'm able to show a little bit more of my game. Um, I'll be able to show more of my talents and um, even including some a lot of that athleticism in the system. It'll be important. You know, like I said, uh, playing so far with Steph. You know, we've had a couple lives, a couple his crazy full court passes, all of that. So I'm definitely uh, excited. Fourth row, right hand side. Daniel Rue, The Athletic. Glenn, free agency is a whirlwind for fans and for, for media members alike and teams, of course. Can you walk people through what it was like from your perspective to be a free agent and looking at various yeah. teams and being pursued? Yeah. Um, so I went through free agency two years in a row now. Um, two years ago, uh, I had the whole league, you know, a lot of interest in Express. Um, but last year, going to Detroit, um, the plan time, it wasn't, you know, what I thought it was going to be. The situation didn't um, go exactly as planned, um, which is great. Everything happens for a reason, and I wouldn't be um, in this position now. Um, but on the same sense, the Warriors was looking at me uh, that year, too. You know, so uh, to be here and going through the process again this summer, um, it kind of came down to just a couple teams rather than it was like the whole league last year, you know. So, um, but, you know, last year I was one of the first, you know, kind of one of the first wings to go. And then this year coming into the summer, it was like, all right, I got to wait for Kawhi to go. I got to wait for a lot of other wings to go. So um, this year it was kind of more, a little bit more, um, you know, just pressure. And, you know, it was it was a lot nerve wracking. You know, I got my mom calling me. You hear anything? You know, so um, I think that uh, it was two different two different ball games for me and free agency. Um, but I think that it's, it's very stressful, you know, but it's a unique experience. And I thought it was uh, it was pretty cool to, to be able to go through both times. So third row, right hand side, Bill. Hey, Glenn, Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Uh, the Warriors and even people outside have talked a lot about the culture here over the last few years. I'm wondering if you even have a sense yet of of what that might mean. And was that one of the things that attracted you to this situation? It was, it was, um, you know, just little things like uh, coming, obviously we got the brand new uh, beautiful Chase Arena, but um, coming into practice every day, um, it's a different vibe, you know, from the coaching staff to the players. Um, we got music going all the time, you know, we, um, it's a fun environment to come in and you, you really want to come to work and you want to get better and, and have fun while doing it. You know, um, you don't see a lot of guys mad or upset or, um, you know, we get on each other, but it's not like uh, like we're here and, and, and disappointed or, or no one wants to doesn't want to be here. You know, so um, I can definitely tell the environment is different and um, they're about they're about positivity. You know, um, you miss a shot. Who cares? We're on to the next play, next next shot. So um, I definitely think that it's, it's a great environment to be around. And, and it was part of my decision. Left hand side, fourth row. Hey, uh, Ben Ross, NBA Europe. Um, you know, the league continues to get more and more global, lots of international players. You had Giannis winning the MVP last year, Spain winning uh, the World Cup. Just curious mm -hmm. on your thoughts about, um, you know, the league getting more global. Yeah. Um, I think that it's, it's definitely exciting. You know, I think that um, with, with the amount of uh, players that we have, uh, you know, just from different countries, and um, it's cool. You know, I think that I've been in a locker room with a lot of different guys who um, talk a different, speak a different language, and I'm learning constantly. I'm learning. I want to travel and go. Um, but I think that it's also, in a sense, changing the game. Um, you know, when I came in, um, I feel like it wasn't as influential as it is now with those players. Um, you know, I think from, you know, a guy like uh, Jokic with his passing, um, just all, all of them are able to play. Um, and w from what I know, when you're younger over there, they kind of teach you the full game, you know, in, in other countries. Here we kind of put a, a limit, all right, you're tall, put your back to the basket, you know. So they kind of teach them the whole game. And I think that it's definitely uh, implementing to our country. And um, even the young kids, you know, everybody wants to be able to shoot, dribble, you know, and be athletic. So um, I think it's definitely changing, changing the sport for us. Front row, right hand side. Hey, Glenn, Wes Goldberg, Barry News Group. Um, you spoke about getting the opportunity here. 
obviously, but then you also talked about going into free agency back-to-back -back years. How much mm -hmm. of a priority was it to you when looking at your decisions to possibly find a long-term fit? Yeah, um, it was definitely important. I think that um, here is a place that I know that you know I could be successful. I, I thought that I could really make an impact on a team right away. Um, it being year six, you know, you don't want to have another year, another disappointing year, um, you know, which is not going to happen. But I think that you definitely um, go into it with a lot of thought into it, you know, and uh, I can't be mad at anyone for last year but myself because I made that decision to go to Detroit. You know, I um, and we learn, you know, I think that is part of um, being, being, you know, my own CEO, being a businessman, um, you learn on those type of decisions. So. Um, I, I think that coming here, uh, I definitely see myself um, more of a fit here um, and being able to play with everybody on the team and uh, really have success here. That was important to me. So to lock in two years um, <clears throat> was, was definitely important. Anything else for Glenn? Great. Okay. We, oh, I did have one more back far left-hand side. Sorry about that. I just wanted your comments on Governor Newsom here in California signing a bill for student athletes to be allowed yeah. Yeah. to uh, be paid for their image and likeness. Yeah, um, I can't speak on it too much because uh, I don't know too much about it, but we were just talking about it a little bit in the locker room before coming up here, and we just kind of joked about every kid's going to want to go to college and <laughs> out here in Cali. Um, and, it, it, and it is a beautiful place, you know, so I don't blame them. But um, I think that it's, it's, we'll see a lot, a lot of that. You know, I think that it's, uh, it's time. A lot of people are waking up and starting to see how much money um, that these universities that, you know, colleges are making off of players. And um, I think that it's, it's important to know, um, it's important to know that they do matter. You know, I think I've seen a lot of guys, even in my case, where I went to school, um, a lot of players didn't, couldn't afford lunch, you know and had to eat the food at the cafeteria, which is, isn't the best, you know? So I think that um, we'll start to see a lot of changes. So I'm, I'm happy that um, they're trying to kind of implement something to help those, those kids out.